Okay, just as a reminder, you do not need to try to do everything, every song. You do need to enjoy the music. And these techniques, I believe, help you to enjoy what you're doing and to make it a fun and a natural activity. Language and connecting with other people and sharing your feelings, your thoughts, your ideas is a natural thing. Let's look at one more part. Passion. Um, cultures and family types and different personality types have different ways of showing and allowing passion to be a part of what you do. Learning a language for the sake of a language, I don't know how you could be very passionate. I do know that the best way to learn things is to follow your heart's direction, your passions. There's a saying, love what you do and you will never work a day of your life. Whatever you're pursuing with your English, the English should not, at least for spoken English, should not be the prime purpose of what you're doing. If you want to know about cars, if you want to study the human body, if you like girls, if you like music, if you want to experience um, poetry and art, well, that's your prime drive, something that you're passionate about. Then only go to the places that are in English. Now you've engaged passion into what you're doing. And you should allow it to flow from you. Language is something that connects with our heart. Now, we've used it to connect with our left brain and our logic systems. But writing works so much better for that. Symbols, um, programming, computers works much better for that but for connecting with hearts and for doing something passionately that is such an empowering thing that is that is a part of our being that does not tap adequately enough if you cannot be passionate about something I feel so sorry for you learning must be hell but figure out what you're passionate about and then let English be the the game the 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 funnel the the lens that you see that interest that you have that passion that you have through then english will come much faster for you now <laughs> now don't tell anybody i learned turkish when i was 18 years old i was stationed in turkey how george did you learn turkish that fast well i'm not i'm fairly smart but, in Turkey, if you wish to make friends with girls, to be with girls, to maybe touch a girl, maybe kiss a girl, who knows? You must speak the language. Their parents or their friends that are looking out for them have to know that you're an honorable person and have to test you. So, a young man, an American, a Western, with a very high libido, expectations, a high sexual drive, lots of passions, you will learn a language. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do that, particularly in this world today, but passion is a key and is a very powerful force within the person that you are, your total being. Lock into that, use that, and go with that. It's one more part of who you are and one more part to empower your English. All right, I think that should be enough for today.